Hello friends, Audi has not been very pleased with its fans lately with new models, limiting itself only to concepts. The reason is very simple. There are big problems with software development, from which literally all brands included in VW suffer. But this does not mean that the company does not plan to release new models. They will be released but with a slight delay. The first such product will be the Audi A8. And after some time, the company will introduce the Audi Q9. I have already talked about this crossover several times, but plans for its production have changed dramatically. And if earlier Audi marketers saw their product as a competitor to the BMW X7 with a line of gasoline engines, now the situation has changed dramatically. The new product will move to electric motors, and to make this possible, the Q9 will be based on the platform of the revived Scout brand, which is preparing for release. This is a joint development development with VW, and it will bring many interesting goodies, including the easy integration of four electric motors. This is exactly what the top modification of the Audi Q9 will have. The whole problem is that Audi wants to create a competitor to the future Mercedes EQG, the electric Gelica will also have four engines, and in order to compete with it on equal terms, Audi should offer no less. The appearance of the new Audi Q9 will be taken from the Active Sphere concept. It's not for nothing that the company produced it, so many solutions will be taken from the concept. But the strongest side of the new product will be its off-road capabilities. Here you will have access to a tank turn like the same EQG and diagonal movement, and a fully controlled chassis, as well as an advanced torque distribution system individually for each wheel and electronic locking of each wheel individually when hanging diagonally, Audi promises that serious work will be done because this new system will be the successor to the current Quattro. But we all understand perfectly well that no matter what advanced systems are, for off-road performance, you also need sufficient power, and it's better when there is plenty of it. In this regard, it will not be. The Audi Q9 in its wildest performance will receive an output of almost 800 HP and 1,000 nemot of torque. This will be more than enough for such a product. In addition, Audi is seriously considering the possibility of expanding the Horch model line to include the new Q9. This modification will feature a luxurious interior and, most importantly, will increase demand for the model in China, where such products are very popular. And now the sad thing is that the debut of the new product will not take place earlier than in 2025. The reason is simple, problems with the software, so we hope that Audi will finally solve them.